One of the challenges of being a trustee is making sure every decision is in the best interests of your charity and never allowing your personal interests or the interests of others connected to you to influence your decisions. But what are conflicts of interest and how should you deal with them if they occur? Conflicts of interest can arise in many different situations. For example, they may involve money, like making payments to trustees, or loyalty issues, when your decisions may benefit a relative, friend or organisation you work for. At the Charity Commission, we register and regulate charities in England and Wales. We also provide a range of support for trustees, including a five-minute guide full of tips and advice called Managing Conflicts which describes four steps to dealing with conflicts of interest. Declare, remove, manage and record. Declaring a conflict of interest early can stop issues snowballing and becoming bigger problems down the line. The guide suggests keeping a list of trustees' interests, putting conflicts of interest on every meeting agenda and forming policies to guide trustees. All conflicts of interest are different and you must manage them case by case. Did you know, for example, that it's common practice to ask a conflicted trustee to step aside from making a specific decision? Or in exceptional circumstances, to remove a conflicted trustee by asking them to resign? Your charity's governing document includes rules you must follow. Conflicts of interest should be recorded by detailing the facts what the conflict was, who or what it affected, when it was declared and how it was managed. By recording the facts, you'll be able to demonstrate how you handled the issue. Identifying and dealing with conflicts of interest quickly and efficiently will help your charity run smoothly. And when it does, the communities and causes that your charity was created to help will have a greater chance of success. And that's in everyone's interests. Take five minutes to read the guide and refresh your knowledge today.